Hi guys. So today we're going to talk about the time suck of social justice. And this seems like a really blunt post. It is a blunt post. I apologize if you don't like me being blunt, but like so many things in our world, it needs to be said. And I always think, once you say something, it's out there. There's a language to talk about it. Fighting for your rights, other people's rights, um, is a complete time suck. It takes a long time to change people's minds. I personally would rather be writing plays than fighting about an airline that damaged my wheelchair or a train company that can't get me off at a wheelchair accessible stop. It's exhausting. And the more you run into situations and start naming them and start engaging with them and refusing to just let things go, the more you run into situations you cannot let go. It's like the world goes, well, you broke down that barrier. Here's 20 more for you to break down. It's exhausting and it's frustrating because, like I said, when um, starting this company, I've got other stuff I would rather be doing. The reason I started making our own DMT is I believe that fighting for what right can and usually does take a really long time. I don't care how good you are at expressing yourself or how well you can win a debate. People will throw up roadblocks in your way just to slow you down. Um, in the office, one of my employees and I always go, oh, it's so dull. And the reason we do that is we've learned over the years that the games people play to slow down progress are pretty predictable once you start engaging in these issues and one of the games they play is wasting time and so yeah it can completely take over your life when you're fighting for something to be fixed there's something to be changed it can be exhausting it can be humiliating. It can be massive emotional labor. We need to talk about that at some point. And it can be a strain. Um, I'm sorry. That's the reality. What you need to do is not dismiss it and not to go, Oh, it's fine. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. They are taking out days and hours of your life. They are taking out mental energy that you would rather, and in a better word, well, that you could be able to spend on loved ones or your friends or building new relationships. 
it is a big deal and it is a legitimate time suck. So give yourself space. I'm a firm believer about weekends and days off and hours where you're not available when they decide to assault you via email. Give yourself time. Don't expect it to be fixed within a week or a month or even a year. Know that that time it takes isn't reflective of you. It's reflective on them. And most importantly, give yourself a break from the emotional labor. Don't pin your entire self-worth on whether or not you can get people to see your point of view because that will dash every hope you have. And that will make you less effective in the future. And we need you. And we need your voice. And your voice is worth, worth preserving. That's all I've got for you today. Remember, you are loved. You are precious. And you contain multitudes. Bye.